Richard Hinchcliffe is forever talking rubbish, and what's more, he gets paid to do it. That's because Richard operates the CETA recycling plant, which deals with waste generated by residents and businesses across the county of Northumberland. So how does it work? What happens to those tins, plastic bottles and paper that we leave out for collection? Well, let's find out. Richard, here the trucks are arriving on a regular basis with all the stuff to recycle. What happens from here? Well, as you can see, uh, the trucks, the first operation, they're unloaded and then um, the loading shovel actually then loads the first hopper on the automated processing line. From there, the material runs into the first cabin. Uh, this is referred to as the pre-sort cabin, and this is the first, um, it's almost protection for the mechanical plants. This is our opportunity to remove the items we don't want. We get large sheets of plastic, we get carpets, uh, we get large heavy lumps of metal, concrete blocks, all things which could do damage if we allowed them to progress through the process. So this is removed manually then by hand? Yes, and we also in this cabin we remove brown cardboard. There's a market for brown cardboard. So it comes through the pre-sort, where do we go next? Okay, the next stage is the first stage of the automatic sorting process. Uh, we have a trommel, which you can see here, the rotating, um, basically a rotating drum with two different size holes. And this automatically sorts the material into three different waste streams by size. This is all very high tech, isn't it? Oh yes, this is, the equipment in here is pretty much as good as it gets. This is the state of the art. And this device we've got here can recognise various materials, can't it? This one's actually, this one we're looking at, look, trying to sort um, or remove contamination from the paper stream. So if it sees plastic, for example, any plastic bottles or any items of clothing, it will fire a jet of compressed air which will effectively eject that from the line because we don't want those in the product. We have similar machines working on the other side of the plant. We've got a big magnet running, which is obviously taking the ferrous metals off. And then uh, at the highest point on the plant, we have an eddy current separator, which does exactly the same job as the magnet, but it's looking for the aluminium cans. And by that, once we've got through all of those different stages, the materials are effectively sorted. If we come into the main picking cabin, and you can see here the, uh, the pickers engaged in here and this is where we have the largest number of people employed and they are effectively just removing the bits and pieces that we don't want so the, the machines are not perfect there's still bits of contamination coming through so, such as what? Uh, bit, small bits of plastic, anything um, again items of clothing, shredded paper is one of the main issues we have with the plants that's coming through all of these things need to be removed as, as they're not what we want to see in the recyclables. So the guys employed in here are working effectively in quality control. They're cleaning up the product. The cleaner the product, the better the, uh, the markets like it and therefore the more revenue we generate. So it comes out of here and where does it go next? The papers go through just to holding bunkers and then uh, they are loaded onto, uh, loose loaded onto trucks and they go to mainly to shop and paper mill for reprocessing. The other items the plastics the can, and the cans, they go uh, they're in the holding bunkers. So from there we bale the uh, non-ferrous and the ferrous metals, the cardboards and both grades of plastic. And you see the bales there. What about the stuff you've separated here which you can't recycle? Where's that going to go to? We've invested a lot of money building an energy from waste plant um, and all of the non-recyclable material from Northumberland goes to the energy from waste plants. So this will go from here to Cleveland, I understand. Yeah. And from there, it's fed into the national grid, generating energy. That's right, yes. we taken down to Cleveland. Can people recycle more, do you think? There's room, there's room for improvement? No doubt. When we look at the residual waste that we are currently are taking down to generate electricity from, there are newspapers in there, there are plastic bottles in there. If they were just taking a bit more care and thinking about it and putting that in the recycling bin, then it, you would see it here in this plant and we'd be reprocessing it. 